Hi guys, I'm Ian and I'd like to talk to you about how I iterated on one of my own designs. This is my universal foam bracket. And the idea of this being that it sits on top of a, a lighting stand or a little adapter in there can make it just screw onto a, a standard tripod mount. And that then holds your smartphone, which you can then use for videoing, etc. Now, the problem with the initial design, I decided to uh, try and go for the concept that you go to my mini factory, you download my model, and you've got everything that you need to put this together. So all the screws are modeled and 3D printed and you, you literally put them together and everything works. Now the, pr the problem with that is that the, the clamping press you needed, in particular with this one up here, the, the anvil one that's applying the clamping force on the phone, to actually tighten that in place you need quite a bit of force. These plastic screws, um, with the best will in the world, are just never going to live up to that and they, they do break. Equally the, uh, the friction joint that's there for all it kind of works okay you tighten it up again you're always a little bit wary of tightening too much so i decided to uh, abandon the idea of everything being 3d printed and see what i could do if i added a, just a little bit of hardware and uh, i'll show you now the the video of me putting that together <laughs> The problem now is that um, to you see this was the original one which is broken so I can't use that on the phone and to show you the new one on camera that means that very precariously I have perched my, uh, my phone on top of my quick release stand on my tripod and I'm really nervous that I'll drop it but just to give you the overview there is this one is printed in the Prusament and uh, I think it's Carmine Red Pet G and it, it's really nice so it's uh, it's a really nice shade of red but also it's got like a gold glitter in it uh, which comes out really well this to be fair um, isn't printed great and you know it's a practical print so it it, it does the job but you can see the hardware's in there these are uh, M8 screws 40 millimeters long and if you are looking at the top you can see the nut that's just slid in there so the parts print you slide the nuts in place uh, and again on that one hopefully if i get the right angle you can see the nut in there and the screw there uh, the sliding place and i think the uh the difference now when you you come to put the camera the phone in the clamping force is you know strong enough that you can I would not have done this with the previous uh, one but you can really hang it upside down and it, it, that does open up an awful lot more possibilities and design ideas for how I could uh, actually use these mounts so um, overall I'm really really pleased with, uh, with the way this has gone. So hopefully that gives you a little overview of how I took my uh, original design, which was functional, um, quite liked it, I kind of like the uh, the way it worked, and just improved on it. And you know, you you use these things for a while, and uh, you decide that you want to improve them, and that is one of the beauties of three D printing. And I think when you start to combine uh, more than just the plastic printed parts, then you you open up new avenues of creativity. 
So if you've made it this far, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to the channel, then I would be really happy if you did that. And uh, hopefully you'll see more content coming from me and I'll see you next time.